Then will the 1984 riots remain a permanent blot in the Congress's record of governance? That's our big talking point tonight. Joining me now, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, Congress Member of Parliament and Spokesperson of the party, Seshadri Chari of the BJP, Harvinder Singh Fulka, Senior Lawyer, who's really been fighting for justice for the 84 victims, Ved Marwa, former Commissioner of Police, who was there in that period, Harto Singh Bal, columnist, and Sanjay Suri, a London correspondent who's in Delhi in 84. He was one of the reporters who was reporting from the streets of the national capital. Appreciate all of you joining us. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, Rahul Gandhi says, and I quote now, that the difference between 84 riots and 2002 riots is that in 84, the government was doing everything to stop the riots. Can you please tell me today, 3,000 Sikhs died in what I am going to call a one-sided pogrom, not a riot, but a pogrom. And Rahul says the government was doing everything to stop the riots. How do you explain this? <coughs> Let me explain very quickly. Firstly, the Congress has consistently for 30 years treated this as a very, very black spot, a terrible incident. There is no question of justifying, condoning, defending. Secondly, we have attempted to heal the wounds to the best of our ability. The Prime Minister has apologized, the President of the party has apologized and there has been reconciliation. Thirdly, we believe that there are miscreants, there are individuals who have done wrong and some of them may well be congressmen. Yes. But to suggest that collectively as a government, as an entity, as a state, there was any intention of abetment is totally wrong. So the Crucial differences are twofold. Just let, let me come in half a minute, uh, yes. uh, 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 Rajdeep. Yes. First, first, for the first and only time in history in India, the Supreme Court transferred en masse all the Godra cases out of Gujarat to Maharashtra. That was a vote of confidence, no confidence in the state as a whole in being able to dispense impartial justice. Not all cases, not all cases, sir. That, that's being yes. economic will be the, the truth, one, several one, cases. No. Not one, all cases. No, no, no. One, no, no, no. One, la no I let you, one large bunch of main Godra cases were transferred from the trial courts of Gujarat to Maharashtra. Let's be accurate. Mm -hmm. Did not happen ever in, 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 in 84. That's one difference. Difference mm -hmm. number two is that the riots happened the same day of the death. Mm -hmm. And of course it was terrible and inexcusable. But in this case, after the Ram Sevaks were clearly murdered, yes. three days on the written advice of the collector, that please do the rights in Godhra. Yes. Mr. Modi's administration contrary to that advice, Mi brought them to Ahmedabad, mm -hmm. had a public postmortem, mm -hmm. handed over the bodies to VHP, and thereafter the riot started. Can I? So there is an element can I of state you? collusion and complicity okay. which is missing. It is not to justify either. Sir, please I, don't I misunderstand I, me. Doctor Singh, it is reprehensible. But the point is yes. that one person has apologized at the prime minister and the party level. The other person walks out of a TV program yes. and asks to apologize. Dr. And people are asking why Rahul Gandhi didn't apologize. The, the reason what kind I'm, of equality the, the is this? What sir, kind of balance is this? Sir, sir the reason I am saying is that there are, you know, that there are two facts. Yes. One is that Mrs. Gandhi dies on the 31st of October. The riots start from that night, really pick up from the next morning, go on for the next two days. That is That's the right. truth, November 1st and 2nd. Yes. Now, it yes. cannot happen. Yes. 3,000 people of one community cannot be killed in targeted violence unless there is some culpability of the state. You cannot ignore that. Number two, you cannot ignore that in the middle of November, Rajiv Gandhi passes a statement that when a big tree falls, the earth shakes. You cannot ignore that. Number three, and importantly, Dr. Singhvi, yeah. you cannot ignore the fact that only 28 people were convicted of murder charges in 12 years. Not a single senior congressman who has been charged has been convicted in this period. While in Gujarat, whether you like it or not, more than 100 people have been convicted, including a senior BJP leader like Maya Kornani. That is also a reality. You've given one reality, I'm giving you the other quickly. reality. Yes, I know. Let me correct your reality partly. Yes. Fact number one. Yes. There are 442 convictions relating to Sikh riots. Not one, not 10, not 20. Not a single major Congress leader. Number two. No, one minute. Number two. Convictions are based on evidence. Yes. Now, several political careers yes. of congressmen and I don't want to name them, dead, deceased or living, have suffered severe adverse political consequences. Yes, courts are going on in some cases, you can't short circuit that procedure. I have no problem with Mr. Hufulka, whom I respect his ardor and his spirit in prosecuting. Yes. He'll have to live or die by the process of law. But the point is, A, 442 convictions, B, several political careers have gone to the graveyard. And C, yes. in Mr. Modi's case, there was 
a clear attempt to refuse in the slightest manner ever to express regret much less apology you had an attempt by the congress to come to terms with this what has happened is reprehensible yes. but look to the future what have we done the no, no, hold on hold on president of the party may mr fulka, fulka wants to respond mr fulka wants to respond to you yes mr fulka yes. you want to respond uh, first yes. of all singhvi ji the figure which you are giving is not a correct figure number 1 now number 2 as far as the murder cases are concerned according to official figure in delhi alone 2733 sikhs were killed and only 28 persons are convicted for till now now say so doctor saab giving a justification of gujarat is no ground that you don't take action in delhi now this is i have this report of nanavati commission nanavati commission says 587 fir were registered 241 were closed by the police without even sending them for trial in gujarat a similar thing happened sit was appointed they reinvestigated and then reopened those cases why why you are not doing it in delhi now now i request dr singh we you are a very reasonable person <clears throat> tomorrow the cm of delhi is meeting lieutenant governor for appointment of sit in delhi the congress should openly support it why not reopen these cases and at least remove this black spot on the history of the country let some people some Can people I? at least go to the jail so because you're saying you're saying like in gujarat yeah. that in the delhi, in the delhi yeah. riots also there should be a reopening of cases reopening of and the there cases. should be an sit, SIT now, these are the right. issues you know these are the issues rahul gandhi could have addressed instead of virtually suggesting that there was no need to apologize that there was you know that you're saying the prime minister no. has apologized point taken prime minister did apologize in 2005 congress president has apologized congress so president has apologized for operation anguish. blue star and expressed anguish but rahul gandhi himself yeah. do you concede that maybe could have made the point that mr fulka That's is right. saying no, that no, let's no, reopen no, the cases no, rajdeep, let's reinvestigate rajdeep, even if there are congressmen involved they should I, be uh, prosecuted I, I, rajdeep 30 years later not a single rajdeep, congressman gets prosecuted to the same Rajdeep 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 now please yes uh, first of all i don't want to be faulted on figures yes i have here written note about 442 convictions i think the difference between mr fulka and me must be on the ground that they may not be murder convictions they may not be murder convictions yes sir but, but 3000 people died 3000 people died Number it should two, be murder please, conviction please now please yes. please <coughs> now Certainly, yes. uh, nobody is suggesting. Let me make it clear on television. Yes. The moment you find the slightest evidence of guilt, the Congress will not shield or protect anyone. But you know, law requires evidence. If there is no evidence, or if the courts are taking long, yes. how you blame the Congress for at least ten or at least eight of these years, Rajdeep? Yes. There were non-Congress governments. Mr. Fulka knows that very well. Did they obtain a single conviction? Whether Mr. Fulka likes it or not, and we are not commenting on the merits. There is a reinvestigation order against Mr. Titus. Earlier, he has not been uh, co held complicit. Now there is a protest petition. There is a second part of it that will go by its own. Sir, sir, this But is not because of the state. This They is look, because of the leader. Sir, this is because of activists Congress, like. Therefore, you hang him. Sir, this is because of activists like Mr. Fulka. It's not as if the state has cooperated in a, in in trying to prosecute no, no. the guilty. No, state That's has the worry. I'm sorry. State has pros. Has, no, no. State has cooperated fully. No, But sir. But the problem is. that always the evidence is not for two coming. times Mr. two uh, times Sanjay the Kumar court has Titer rejected has not had political benefit for the Dr. last 10 decades doc sir two times the seven court years. has rejected ah. the clean chit given to jigdish titler now that is one issue correct, correct. now doc sir why why you are evading this question of this 241 fir's which are closed by the police has untraced why not to reopen them why you are evading it in gujarat they were reopened why not in delhi That is the answer which you no, need I to give to the, take. If, why Congress? If 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 I, Congress I, has I, nothing I, to I, not do Congress not want to shield is, the guilty, no. why you want to? Why you do not want the uh, some of the witnesses Let are still alive? Let me make it alive. 100% clear. There is no question of shielding the guilty. <coughs> yes. There is no question yes, then of being a point S I T. A point S I T. At least some of the witnesses are still having, alive. Look, After five SIT, years, they will they may SIT not be. Gujarat. When, no, no. When matters are subjudic, certainly you are entitled to ask. No, no. There are no question subjudic. These matters are closed. Doctor Singh, we a eminent lawyer of your stature saying the it matter which is closed as untraced is subjudic. No, no. What subjudic in that is? No, no. Court. You can have a court monitor S I T. How? What? Do you what court S I T? Why? Why court monitor S I T? Government should appoint. 
why, why court monitor in, in Gujarat because the government did not appoint. Therefore, the, uh, uh, the uh, as, uh, Supreme Court had to appoint. We are not asking court in, monitor. In, in, in the government appoint. We are happy with that. I, uh, you should must welcome this decision. Before I widen this thing, uh, Dr. No, Singh, no, why I, not give a commitment? Why not? Why doesn't the Congress say we are ready to uh, uh, appoint oh, a, a SIT? I, if I, Arvind I, Kejriwal no, asks it from the lieutenant governor I, tomorrow, you will support it. I, that yes, will increase your I, bona fides. Otherwise, people will question it. Too. Yes, yes. In case, I let me tell you very clearly. Yes. In case there is no double jeopardy issue, no legal subjuris issue, yes. the Congress will in no form be an obstacle to the reinvestigation of a case, if permissible in law okay. or if ordered by the appropriate administrative authority. Doctor, you know it when the case is but closed and unpressed, there is no question of double jeopardy. Can I? Can I? There is no question of double jeopardy no, when no, the case is right, closed and unpressed. Okay. Governor, okay. No, this hold is, on. Hold on. This is between the state government and the governor. We are not at all objecting to it. If oh, it happens, in not objecting. That I am happy. I am glad that Doctor Singhvi said we are not objecting and we will support. I am glad that Doctor Singhvi has taken a very high moral stand. Okay, we've at least got a Dr. Singhvi to say that we are ready to look at the case and we, that we will not object if there is a reinvestigation order. Dr. Singhvi, that's a step forward. Subject but I just to in accordance with law, yes. Yes, yeah, but I just want to get uh, the viewpoint before I move further from two people who are there in 84, who, are, who in their own way had a critical role to play. Ved Marwa, would you concede that at the moment the Congress what has... What you asking me? So... That, uh, half a second, Rajdeep. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes. All this you have asked me, I've tried to say what I say as frankly as possible. Yes. At least, and there are no comparisons between pogroms or uh, events like this, tragic events. Yes. At least a person who has refused to apologize, who's walked out of TV programs, who has expressed no regret. Yes. Nobody asked this question. This question is asked. I, I, I will ask these questions to Sheshadri Chari. I will ask the these questions. Don't worry. I will, this program, Sheshadri Chari of the BJP is there, I will ask the question, you've raised a valid point, but first, can I just get a clarity from the two people who are on the ground about 84? Ved Marwa, you first. You were police commissioner soon after 84. Did the center fail in 84? And was the police part of the failure? Can Dr. Singhvi or any congressman today say, or can a Rahul Gandhi come and brazenly say that the center tried to stop the riots? Is he right in saying that the center tried its best to control the riots? Or did everything it could to control the riots, to use the exact word? You know, I was the first inquiry officer yes. to inquire the role of the police. And I had, while my report was not allowed to be completed, yes. I was asked to stop uh, the inquiry uh, three months uh, after I started. You, you know, the main thing is that I'm afraid I'm getting the echo back in my yes. voice. Yes. Go ahead. Just tell me, do you believe Rahul Gandhi is right? I just want a quick short answer first from you. Is Rahul Gandhi right to say that the center of Rajiv Gandhi's government no, no, did everything to stop the riots? Yes or no? Absolutely no, because the fact remains that for three days, the Delhi police was absent from the most affected parts of the city. Okay. So you're... you're and you're, uh, there was no... There, you're making a very categorical statement. Absolutely not. The, for three days, the Delhi police was absent from the critical parts of the city. Sanjay Suri, you want to? You were there as a reporter. Is can Rahul Gandhi justifiably say that the government of the day of Rajiv Gandhi did everything to stop the 84 riots? Yes or no? Well, never mind what Rahul Gandhi says. I yes. can tell you what I saw, Rajdeep. Yes. I saw no police around. You saw no police. I saw no police and around. And we're talking of November 1st, November 2nd the as first well. First. I took my scooter out on November the 1st, I headed out. Yes. There was no information from the police. My only guide to where I should go was to look at the sky and see columns of smoke. I saw, I went to Vasant Vihar, the school, the Guru Harkishan public school had been torched, it had been ransacked. There were mobs on the street, there were no police around. I went to the police station and that's where the police were. And this was a pattern that repeated all three days. Mr. Vad Med Maharu is right as of course he would be. And it so from the 31st night to the 2nd of November 1984, while you were reporting, police was not there in critical areas where they the, were, where they the were violence missing. was taking place. If they were there, they were present as witnesses, as spectators. There was no police action I saw. Even when there was a strong police force in the presence of rioters, they did nothing. I saw a senior police officer duck as the rioters advanced rather than take action. Did you see Congress leaders or local Congress workers or any party workers also on the street leading mobs? 
Several places. Several places. Several places in Sultanpuri. It was the local Congress people. And in fact, we went to speak to some Sikhs who had been in hiding there. They were desperate for help. On the way back, we were attacked. These workers, they attacked us and they tried to stop us leaving. We had to just force our way out of this place. And these were Congress these workers, were Congress, Congress leaders. These were Congress workers from that area, as was confirmed by the police in subsequent visits. In, um, in Karol Bagh police station, the Congress MP came and took, was abusing the police for taking action. Who was this? Dharam Das Shastri? Dharam das Shastri. Yes, I was a witness. I was at that police station when he came and was abusing the police officers for having arrested Congress did workers. You, uh, did, did you uh, make this evidence available publicly before yes, the various I commissions? Yes, it. And, the, it and, and despite that, nothing happened all these years? The you commissions? Yes, the, commission. the commissions were a joke. The commissions were a joke. The Mishra Commission, when <coughs> I gave evidence, I was asked two questions. First, pro produce an independent witness to confirm to us that you were there. <laughs> I said, if I go with somebody, you won't be independent anyway. Where does the reporter go with independent witnesses in tow? Second, produce a lock book from your office to prove that you were at this point at this time. I, had, I could produce neither naturally, therefore my affidavit was disregarded. This was supposed justice. You know, uh, 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 Dr. Singhvi, before I come to Sheshadri Chari, and I will, I promise you, come to him, I just want to know, I want to focus on 84 riots since Rahul Gandhi claims the center did everything to stop the riots. Here you have Sanjay Suri, the brave journalist who reported those riots, Ved Marwa, one of the best police officers this country has seen, saying that the police was not present. Now, let's be clear, Dr. Singhvi. Should Rahul Gandhi be saying that the government did everything to stop the riots when the truth is very different? Why, why tell a lie? He, does, he could have done what the Prime Minister did and apologize and said it's a shame what happened. Why not just say that? Raj, Rajdeep, two or three things. Yes. First of all, may I respectfully and gently suggest yes. that Rahul Gandhi's interview was on 10, 20 themes. Yes. One of the themes was the Sikh riots. Please don't reduce his entire interview to only one point. No, because it's a Second, lie. Because he has told a lie. Mr. No, he no, has no. lied one to minute, the country. One minute, one minute. I don't think that's correct at all. Mr. Rahul Gandhi was neither accompanying Mr. Sanjay Suri, yes. nor was he privy to the conversation I've just heard on television. What Mr. Suri is saying is a very serious thing. Yes. And certainly requires the full credence and the full uh, 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 might of authority to look into yes, it. I only I wish see. that Mr. Suri, certainly this uh, the commission may not have done him justice, but all that he would have required would should have been to file as a prosecution witness in a sir, pending litigation. Sir, Dr. Singhvi, you, know, you know what has I happened. Ranganath Mishra no, no, was the head of that commission, became an MP of the Congress in the Rajya Sabha. That is the sad forget, reality of 84, no, sir. Become, one minute. Forget, forget the commissions. They yes. have no power to punish criminally. Mr. Uh, Suri saw crime being committed. Yes. It was his obligation and it is still even today. Right. He's entitled My to God. be a person who is a and I this. would certainly support him. If that procedure starts. Sir, 30 Dr. years Dr. later, is it the duty, is it the duty of the police? What he he gave his affidavit before Mishra Commission. The police had all those affidavits. I mean, you totally absolve the police. It is the duty of the police to go to the witness. It is the duty of a citizen to go of to the police. Is. What kind of a justice it are we is, to it trying is. to preach in our country? It, it is, of course, the duty. Sir, but sir, today sir we have that is the reason, Dr. Saab, that is the reason we are asking I SIT before. today. That is that it totally justifies the SIT. That is the reason we are asking no, for I the SIT today. Reopen these I, cases and well, see Yamandi. Yes, I, I, I just want uh, Mr. Suri wants to make a comment and then I'll, I'll go to Sajadri Chari. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Suri, I'm not going to let you go, Dr. Singhvi, on this one, but yes, Suri, uh, Sanjay. Qu uh, quite apart uh, from the fact, Rajiv, that it's 30 years on that yes. Congress is talking about this sudden uh, reawoken urgency to investigate a remark being made. As Mr. Fulga says, this was said in, uh, submitted in an affidavit to the Mishra Commission. To, I came down to submit an affidavit to Nanavati Commission. All this information is there. The information is in the Ved Marwa Committee report. Mr. Marwa yes. is with us. Tragically, that was abort aborted, and that was aborted <coughs> by the Congress you government. Know, before I go to Sashadri Chari, I just want a confession from you today. That the fact is that the Congress government failed in 84 of Rajiv Gandhi. Whether the police, no police force, sir, would not act unless they were under some kind of instructions. Let's be very clear, sir. If the police force wanted, it could have stopped 84. 
why not concede that dr singh with 30 years have passed it would be nice to have honesty and openness Mr. of the rahul kind that rahul gandhi, gandhi talks of no, rahul, rahul gandhi, gandhi talks of openness and honesty rahul, he should be open and honest mr. about 84 mr rahul gandhi mr rahul gandhi has already himself said that certainly a large number of people including congressmen would be involved yes. and certainly there was a failure yes. of sections of the state machinery yes there is no hesitation in saying that yes. but you want to say that mr x was guilty mr y was guilty unfortunately or fortunately unless they have been convicted or at least charged cheated i can't say it it's as simple as so that so almost 3000 people die almost 3000 people die and no. 30 years later we are waiting for evidence and and, and saying that there is a failure of the police machinery that is obvious from okay. the reports including mr marwa commission report yes. so i'm saying so i'm even yes. going to the extent of saying okay. that congressman certainly have been involved at some level but to suggest yes. that mr x Take the name of Mr. X is guilty. How can you do that? It's taken you all 30 years to accept that congressman and at certain, certain levels of no, 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 30 years. Not Doc, at all. Not Doc, at all. Sir, please Mr. Dharamdas Shastri, Mr. H K L Bhagat, one minute. Yes. Dharamdas Shastri, H K L Bhagat, Sajjan Kumar, yes. Jagdish yes. Taitar, and yes. many more names I can take yes. have suffered <coughs> severe political consequences. Prime Minister apologized in 2005. Yes. Uh, Congress president in 1999. That's and, not now. And and fifteen years ago, I, I take it. And Rahul Gandhi said, ago. then Rahul Gandhi should not have said that you know the center did everything to stop the riots. That's the limited point I'm making. Let By doing that, he is not Let revealing the truth. He is being Rajdeep. economical with the truth. Rajdeep, I will Rajdeep. just read two We lines from the Shrad Mission report. One minute, Fulka Sir. Fulka Ji, one minute. Sir, yes, Fulka Ji, one minute. Please, yes. you are all making allegations Rajdeep. against yes. the Congress failure to admit. Rajdeep, yes, I want to make it. Yeah, I'll just come to you. I'll come to you, Mr. Chari. In the eight years. in the eight right. years yes. of non congress bjp governments yes. why is there not a single conviction please answer that the so congress is not in power for 6 or 8 years in between you want why to respond to that you want to respond how to that mr prabha mr chali will respond to that but i'll respond to this one okay then two lines yes two lines from mishra commission report mishra yes. commission yes. who who did didn't do anything at all but still this observation is important he said that there was a failure of the police machinery yes. and there was a failure of the police machinery yes and there was a failure of the police machinery yes and there was a If the army had been called in the morning of November 184, and by then about 5,000 army people were at Delhi, the position would have certainly not been as bad as it turned out to be. 5,000 army joined, divided into columns, and moving into the streets properly armed would have been brought about death of at least 2,000 people. That they could have saved two thousand people from being killed. I, I, I think you made a very Mishra strong mission as such. So I think you made an extremely strong point. But I want to come to you, Seshadri Chari, because while today the focus will be on the Congress and 84, I want to give you another fact. The fact is, Rahul Gandhi is right. He was 12 years old when 84 happened. He was not in public life. By contrast, sir, the fact is that Narendra Modi was the Chief Minister of Gujarat when 2002 happened. So, if the primary responsibility, as we are saying on this program, rests with the Congress government of Rajiv Gandhi, will you accept that the primary failure in 2002 rests with Narendra Modi? Let's also call, you know, let's call a spade a spade tonight. Mm. If 84 is Rajiv Gandhi, and we are saying that on this program. will you also candidly accept that your government of 2002 failed thousand citizens do not die without some element of either complicity or incompetence of the state government no i don't agree with it but before that i wanted to give you some more facts yes mr rahul gandhi did not say congressmen were certainly involved he said probably yes i am sure there is a difference in the meaning of the word certainly and probably yes so he has not accepted that the congress people were certainly involved let yes. us be very clear on that let 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 not your channel propagate something which has not been said by him in that particular interview number one this is what happens when you start spending 500 crores of rupees on a person without doing homework mr singh we should remember that and as far as uh, the apology part of question. it is concerned please answer am, my question I, I, i'll i'll come to it yes. i'll come to it but let me make these points first yes as far as the apology point is concerned what mrs sonia gandhi said was yes i can understand the pain yes no use recalling what we have lost this is not a be very clear on that number 2 number 3 as far as the police action in gujarat is concerned 70000 police were men were put on duty immediately after 2 hours and 25204 yes. out of 25486 accused were arrested and on may 2005 these are all reports from the reports uh, yes. no notes from the reports on may 2005 19200 hindus and 7799 
totaling to 26,999 people were rounded up. Mr. Even on Mr. the day Chari, of that incident, Chari, even that, on the day Mr. of that Chari, incident, 816 people were I rounded up. Just the the army was formed within 12 hours. I want to also give you listen, facts. Listen, listen. It required an SIT. I have to, I have to say that the army was formed within 12 hours. It required Supreme Court for prosecution to just, take place in Gujarat. Let's be clear. And, 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 and let, me, let me end with no, this. Even if let me end with this. Even if the army was appointed, the people were right. killed. The, if the citizens were killed, right. even, the even, even after the, even, even after SIT question, the people are killed, Rajdeep, you can't deny even, that. Even, there, Rajdeep, there were Hindus second. who were killed, just, Muslims yes, who were killed, many people yes, were both. killed, Apollo more than 300 people Rajdeep. were killed by the police firing. Three, yes. This does not mean that the one police did not do anything. Very quickly. One, one by do you one. think the police did not three do anything? No, no, no. Uh, uh, how Mr. did the Chari, people get killed? Mr. Mr. Chari, Dr. Singhvi has a question how, for you. How did, Dr. Singhvi, how go did ahead. it stop? Mr. Yeah. Chari, just I, a minute. I have, I have two or three. No, it's not the question of Dr. Singhvi going ahead. Rajdeep. No, Rajdeep, one, you have one, to one make one a very clear one. difference in what has question. happened in 2002 and what has happened in 1994. Yes, yes. yes, yes I tell yes, the difference. These are very I different the difference, things. Rajdeep. Yes, yes, question Dr. number Singh. one. Yes. <laughs> He's absolutely right. Yes. Mr. Chari is absolutely right. They're yes. very different things. Yes. Number one difference. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Modi has expressed neither contrition, anguish, nor apology. Yes. Uh, different number two. He has. He, he has. Out of please, please be correct. Don't, don't yeah. dish out yeah. anything that is the, not correct. Three. Mr. Uh, one Mr. Abhishek the only time he expressed Mr. Abhishek one by one, one, one you cannot regret. get away. One, I am very one, sorry. I will not complete. allow you to let speak any further because. Let what me, you are no, saying no, no, is a no, no, blatant no, no, lie. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, what Mr. you are saying is a blatant Chari, lie. I will let you respond. Let, let him speak and I will let you respond. Let me repeat. Yes. Let me, let me re no, no, let me no Rajdeep. Don't Rajdeep, they have, spe one, they have spoken uh, enough. Mr. Modi, they have spoken Rajdeep, enough. Rajdeep, please. Yes, Mr. go ahead. Modi, uh, Mr. Modi yes. has never apologized, expressed anguish or regret. Number two, he walked out of Kamal Thapar, uh, 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 Karan Thapar's interview and asked the question. Number three, sir, he has expressed anguish. An apology, sir, he has expressed he has said, anguish. No, the only, the closest, one minute, the closest to an anguish is when he gave the very felicitous analogy of a puppy, which is hardly an apology or a manner of expressing anguish. Number three, number four, yes, uh, miss, the the the, the Ram Sevaks were butchered, yes, on day X, yes, for three days thereafter. Why did Mr. Modi allow, contrary to the collector's report, the bodies to be carried to Ahmedabad instead of Godhra? How different is that from 84? How different is that from 84 and not allowing the police to function in the, in the violent no, no, prone no, no, areas? No, 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 that, no, no, there is no, no, no difference. No, no. no difference. The Godhra riot started after three days. Please. The Godhra riot started no, after Godhra three riot and a half days. Not. Because of the provocation, provocation created Mr. by the Mr. Abhishek Manu Sanghvi, please Ramsey correct your facts. Mr. Godra riots stopped the, the, within uh, two and a half 84 days. 84 riots started the same day. Yes, two and a half days. No, the, uh, Sikh riots the most the important day. element Mr. in this, I tell you. He allowed the bodies to be carried to Ahmedabad. He allowed the postmortem, he handed the bodies to the VHP. And thereafter, Godra riots started. No, the bodies were handed over the to the victims' households. He created a provocative atmosphere. No, he did he not create any provocation. Half days no, he did not create any provocation. Sorry, you are absolutely wrong no on your facts, this. Mr. Abhishek. No, 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 I, you know, you know the, the politicians will you fire. You are wrong on your yeah, facts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. While the politicians let both... Me, let, me, let me, Rajdeep Sardes sir. Rajdeep, please, yes. give, me, please give me half a minute. Yeah, half a minute. Please I want to go half to her a minute. Yes. I have to, I have to, I have to add an important point in this. Yes. I have to add an important point to all these things. Yes. You just pan across to December 1984. Yes. In December 1984, during the elections, yes. Congress party published a pamphlet. Yes. An advertisement for their elections yes. in which they said, yes. Will you trust your taxi driver? And the taxi driver's photograph was that of a Sardarji. This speaks volumes for what they did in 84. There was also, there was also, of course, the famous slogan which Arun Jaitley today quotes, and he's not wrong, Khun ka badla khun, which was supposed to be a slogan which was there in those days. There were similar slogans, I can tell you, Mr. Chari also in Gujarat, which was used by act, uh, VHP no. activists, particularly on yes. the street. We will no. discuss those. Yes, that is the truth. No. The truth is both of you are being no, economical please, please with the give truth. Me, give me, give me. No, 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 no. There were, sir. Give me, give me a proof of it. Otherwise, don't speak out. Na, now you are, Rajiv, you are, you are saying like Sanjay Suri, sir. Don't put words sir, in my mouth. Sir, you no. are saying like Sanjay Suri that I to provide proof that what I have seen, I, my car was attacked and I no, was attacked I, yes. and I was asked yes, to show, I can give you proof. to prove the religion I that I belong to. Poster. I don't want to make this I'll personal. Send a, I'll send sir, a copy I will of not make this personal. I'll Between send a copy of, of that poster Harto, to your studio tomorrow. Sir, just a minute. Harto Singh Bal, 
you know, I just want to take a bit, bit of a breather because you've written a fine article today, a strong article in First Post, where you say the reason that Rahul Gandhi was lying on 84, you believe, is to protect the family legacy. What is it that you, or the party reputation, what would you have liked to hear him say, Hartosh, on 84, that would have convinced you that Rahul was being honest with the past? Look, Rajdi, clearly, you cannot use duplicitous standards if Modi's administration, and it certainly did not act promptly, in fact, I would say both the Rajiv Gandhi and the Modi administrations were complicit in the violence that took place. Yes. It is disgraceful to see the two major political parties of this country arguing over whether your program was worse than mine. What Rahul Gandhi needed was to face up to the fact that congressmen were directly responsible. People yes. like Sanjay Suri saw them, witness this happen. The police did not just stay away. The police actively was participating in disarming Sikhs where murders took place. All this is documented. Yes. This couldn't have happened without political complicity. Yes. And more than that, this claim by Mr. Singhvi that important Congress politicians suffered, what kind of suffering that Mr. Jagdish Teitler, when he was made to suffer, is made the state in charge of Bihar Congress? Is that a punishment posting? Look at Mr. Teitler's course as a politician. Ask Sanjay Suri what he saw at Rakab Ganj, where Kamal Nath and Gautam Kaul were both there, and two Sikhs were burned to death and not taken to hospital as they lay there dying with their wounds. In 2004, Kamal Nath says he cannot remember what happened there because so much time has passed. Why did so much time pass? Who allowed so much time to pass? If we are saying Narendra Modi is a prime ministerial candidate, what is Kamal Nath today? Who but Rahul Gandhi can face up to these facts? What would you have liked and Rahul Gandhi to say? To you would have liked Rahul Gandhi to accept. Gandhi and Narendra Modi you would have liked what? Rahul Gandhi to accept the fact that you believe that 84 was a failure of the Congress government, and you would have liked him to apologize and say that I will hold my congressmen who are involved even 30 years later accountable for it. That's what you would have liked him to say. Absolutely. If you have to address these questions with honesty, that is the very minimum that Rahul Gandhi will have and, to and say. And you believe he was Otherwise, trying to protect his father's legacy. Should stop and you believe he was trying to protect each other. And you believe he was trying to protect his father Absolutely. Rajiv's legacy. Absolutely. You know, uh, 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 Dr. Singhvi, I'm going to give you that word on that. Do you, you know, I, I come back to it. Rahul Gandhi talks of transparency, talks of openness. Part of openness is to confront the demons of the past. This is one of the big demons, a permanent blot as we are calling it on the Congress. Confront it. Why run away from it? Confront it and accept that it wasn't that the center had no, uh, had no role how, to play but that the center earth, failed. How on earth does one have truth and reconciliation yes. on an issue yes. without saying, as I have said repeatedly for the whole evening today in several other programs than yours, and yes. for the last 10-15 years Congress is saying that. Yes. It was a terrible blot. It is indefensible. We are not justifying or defending it. Yes. We are apologizing. We are deeply anguished. All of that we have said repeatedly. Now we can't turn the time clock back. Yes. We have also destroyed the political career of many people who could not be perhaps legally punished. Their political careers have suffered. You know, 442 people have been convicted, maybe not of murder. More will be convicted if people like Mr. Sanjay Suri and Mr. Hartosh Singh Bal were to capture this in evidence. You know, but, you, know you cannot do you know, more 30 years later, later this evidence, today, sir, you know, I, you say, no, sir, you know as a lawyer, to somebody, to somebody to come to them. Evidence is still there. Somebody need to come to them. Is, today, today, to come to today, them. Even Mr. No, certainly they do, but that has to be happen according to law. How can I say today you know, that because of a program, I hear Mr. Bal taking Rajiv, a name, you know, I hear Mr. Sanjay Suri taking a name, you should catch them and put them in jail. You know, it can't happen like that. You know, but Mr. Chari, Mr. Chari, like Mr. Chari, what, what like can Congress say? Mr. Has the BJP, Mr. Has the BJP Rajiv, said one tenth of this. Mr. 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 Chari, respond to that. Has they said one tenth of this? Abhi, Abhishek Manu Singh is saying, have you said one tenth of what he has said in terms of accepting 
some <laughs> element of culpability for 84 in the context of 2002. Your senior minister, Rajiv, Maya Kornani, <coughs> was convicted. Rajiv. Now, you know, let's be clear about it, Mr. Chari. Surely it would help if all political parties confronted the demons of the past. Mr. Singhvi has to confront the demons of 84. You have to confront the demons of 2002. Rajdeep, if yes. Mr. Singhvi wants the, the country as a whole yes. to forget 1994 and move ahead, yes. we are saying the same thing, forget 2002 and move ahead. Yes. We have moved ahead in Gujarat. He is refusing to move ahead in Gujarat and he has seen the result of what is happening in Gujarat. But please please permit me to say, yes. in spite of all the, all the pontification that the Congress party has done so far and even today, yes. I am just repeating the words of Mr. Jagdish Titler, which he has made today, today, in one of the channels, if yes. I am not mistaken. Yes. I think in your channel he has made the statement. Yes. There is no FIR against me, there is no enquiry against me, Nanavati Commission has not indicted me, and there is no case against me till today. This is what Mr. Jagdish Titler has said today. Okay, then I, why, you know, that, that, that's the sad that reality of what has happened. But I'm, I want Ved Marwa and uh, Mr. Fulka and Sanjay Suri, who are, uh, you know, who are involved in, in seeing what happened in '84, to have the final word. Starting with you, Mr. Marwa, what would you like to tell our politicians, the Abhishek Singhvi's, the Seshadri Charis, before he takes our leave? What would you like to tell them? You know, first I would like to make the clarification yes. that I was not allowed to complete the inquiry. Yes. My inquiry was aborted. Yes. And uh, Mishra Commission was uh, appointed. Yes. Secondly, the fact, fact remains yes. that even after all these years, yes. the guilty police officers have not been punished. On one excuse or the other, the, the uh, disciplinary proceedings against them uh, were, uh, were either not started right. or if started, they were not allowed to complete. Right. Because all these various inquiries stood in the way. Right. So you're, you're saying that none of the real guilty police officers or politicians have been convicted. Mr. Fulka, I know you've joined the Ahmadmi Party now. Do you believe that the Ahmadmi Party in Delhi, it is incumbent on them to reopen these cases to order an SIT? That is right. Arvind Kejriwal sat on a fast on this. I have written a letter to him last week that you sat on a fast. Now you should uh, impress upon the Lieutenant Governor to appoint this SIT. They, it is. You and believe that if the cases are reopened, justice is still possible? Is justice is still possible. And my request to Mr. Chari is also that the BJP should fully support it because this is the BJP's agenda also I, I to punish the guilty. Yes. They okay. should fully support it. And the BJP and the Kali Dal, another TV channel, I told the Kali MPs yes. that if the Arvind Kejriwal can go and sleep on the road, why can't the Kali MPs can go and sleep on the road for appointment of SIT? Okay. They point should taken. do that. Point taken. That you know, you need maybe a dharna, unfortunately, in our present day That's politics right. to wake up our politician to that. Sanjay, and I'm But I'm glad, I'm glad Dr. Singhvi uh, 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 accepted it. They, they are uh, ready. Okay. That, that, let's all appoint it. Okay, let's appoint it. I'm going to give you the final word, Sanjay Suri. You know, it's almost as if the ghosts of the past keep recurring. The latest one has come because Rahul says that the center had no role in 84, unlike in Gujarat, where he claims that the, uh, that the state government abetted in the riots. Your sense, what would you like to tell the politicians? Do you fear it's a zero-sum game every time we go between 84 and 2002? And are you willing, if an SIT is appointed, to come and depose and tell them what you told us today on this program? I came Once and gave again. evidence earlier. I will do it again. But it's a pity and a shame that 30 years later we are having this argument, this discussion, that instead of showing action then, the Congress spokesperson is showing us adjectives now. What does this mean for those who died for the families of those who died even they would have died over these 30 years and this argument that you know there is no evidence you have to accept evidence there is there are two ways of doing it the police do take a lot of action on information that is credible there was the maintenance of internal security act misa these extrajudicial provisions were used to book a lot of people the police had information on why were they not used for these people if the police had information as they do well, the bottom line at the end of the day, it may be time sometimes to reopen those ghosts, the demons of the past and confront them. Unfortunately, Rahul Gandhi did not quite do that. He seemed to be economical with the truth when it came to 1984. Appreciate all my panelists joining us on our talking point tonight. Editors take, where do we stand? The fact is, around 3,000 Sikhs died in the 1984 pogrom. 
The deaths of innocents in such targeted violence cannot but be evidence of the failure of the Indian state and the Congress government led by Rajiv Gandhi at the time. Indeed, be it Delhi 1984 or Gujarat 2002, no riot takes place without either the complicity or the incompetence of the state showing up. Instead of admitting as much, Rahul Gandhi has attempted to save his party's reputation. The BJP too has been similarly guilty in the context of Gujarat 2002. This is not only a question of apologies. Real penance demands accountability. If almost 30 years after the anti-Sikh riots, just 28 people have been convicted for murder, then something is very seriously wrong. Rather than living in denial, Mr. Gandhi would do well to face up to this grim reality. Let's take a break at this point. When we return, we'll turn to our other big story tonight. The Supreme Court rejects the review petitions that challenge its earlier order banning gay sex. Are all doors being shut now for the gay community? That's our other talking point when we return.